Scientists have just measured the size of the proton, and it gave a very different value from other measurements. This begs the question, how do you even define the size of one of the smallest pieces of matter in the universe? As much as we might think of protons as a ball, they are not. We can't just take a ruler and measure their radius. But scientists can measure the radius of a proton, and determining its various radii is important to developing our fundamental understanding of how the universe is put together. So, let's discuss it. First off, what even is a proton? This is actually not a trivial question, as it is much more complex than we initially thought. I have a whole video dedicated to answering this question with the latest research. But to be brief, a proton is a composite particle that is made up of smaller fundamental particles called quarks and gluons. For a long time, we thought that it was made up of two up quarks and one down quark. But recent research has revealed that it is much more complex than that. This revelation makes measuring the proton's radius all that more important. So how can we measure the radius of the proton? Traditionally, we have measured what is called the electric charge radius. To measure this, we need to use other particles that can interact with an electric charge. Scientists have fired electrons at protons and measured the scattering for many years. With great care, they could determine the radius of the proton that deflected the path of the measured electrons. This is not an easy measurement, and it ended up returning incorrect values for the radius for a long time. In particular, the radius measured with electrons disagreed with a 2010 measurement of the radius with muons. Muons are leptons, just like electrons, but are heavier. You can think of them as a heavier twin of the electron. They are effectively the same other than their mass. Another way to measure the radius of a proton is to measure its atomic spectra with extremely high precision. So what the scientists did was make muonic hydrogen. They replaced the electron with a muon. As this is a much heavier particle, the muon orbits the proton much closer, and in principle would give a much more accurate measurement of the proton's radius. The only problem was, it gave a different radius. Luckily, in 2019, electron measurements now finally agree with this value. But this isn't the end of the story, because this is just one radius. Another radius is the mass radius, which describes how the mass of the proton is distributed inside it. You would think that the size of the electric charge and the size of the mass of a particle is the same thing. How could they be different? Well, for a proton, they are different. And it is not obvious that this should be the case. So how did they measure the mass radius and not the electrical charge radius? In the same way, we try to solve most problems by smashing stuff together. In this case, the scientists took highly energetic light and shot it at liquid hydrogen. When the light collides with the protons, another particle would be made called a J psi meson, which is a bound charm quark and an anti-charm pair. These mesons can then interact with the quarks inside of other protons within the liquid while not interacting with the electrical charge. By measuring the J psi mesons that made it out of the hydrogen liquid, the scientists could get the mass radius of the proton itself, which they found to be around 0.52 femtometers, compared to the electrical charge radius of 0.83 femtometers. So this research suggests that the mass radius is significantly smaller than the charge radius. A truly fascinating result that I am sure will keep scientists busy. To know more about what is inside of a proton, check out this video where I explain our latest understanding.